In this video I'm going to show how to download FLTK and build it in Visual Studio 2017. Hopefully by the time you watch this video 1.4 will have been released, but uh, for now it's a development release, so I'm going to click on this weekly snapshot here to download it. So I'm going to get the tar.gazip file, uh, which I think is going to open WinZip. Uh, with WinZip I think it's a two-step process with a tar.gazip. The first step is to gunzip the tar file and that leaves you with a tar file that you then have to also extract <laughs> so uh, yeah it's a two-step process so I'm gonna put the extracted tar into temp uh, and then I'm gonna go into the temp directory and extract the tar file itself So here's the extracted tar file. Looks like WinZip put a little number extension on there. Yeah, I want to change it, all right. Now it's a WinZip file. I can extract it. I agree. OK, so here are all the files. Now it's going to, if I extract this into a directory, it's going to make a subdirectory with the FLTK snapshot name. So I'm just going to extract it straight to the C colon directory, knowing that it's going to do this. So extract. Now I'm going to drop to the command line to run CMake. So let's see, where did it put my 1.4? OK. So it called it this. Um, that's kind of a long name, so I'm just going to rename it to just FLTK14X. Okay, so here's the extracted FLTK source, all the README files. Um, for Windows, you probably want to look at both the Windows file, and I think it also refers you to CMake to use CMake to actually create the IDE files. So right now we just have the source code. We don't have any IDE files that Visual Studio can open. Um, so uh, the first instruction in the CMake file is to make a subdirectory called build and go into it. And these instructions are the same on Unix as well. So then you go into the build directory and then you run CMake space dot dot, which tells CMake to look up one directory for the CMake files and then it creates all the build files in this directory. So we'll let that run and then we'll open Visual Studio to open the project. At this point it should have created a <coughs> Visual Studio project file FLTK SLN. Um, so I'm going to open up Visual Studio And this is a slow computer, so we wait. OK, so now I can go into File and open the project. OK, Project Solution. And we'll look in C colon FLTK14 build. And um, seems to be highlighting this, so I'm going to open that. So, um, in every version of Visual Studio I've ever used, it always chooses debug. I think it's alphabetical. Uh, release is lower in the list, and it always seems to open the first thing in the list. Anyway, I always change it to release. I'm usually not debugging FLTK, so I change it from debug to release. I don't think I need to change this. Win32, that's fine. So then usually what you do is you right-click on the 
all build or I think even up here the solution FLTK 89 projects I just right click on that and choose build solution and that should build FLTK from beginning to end and uh, this could take a while so um, I'll probably speed through the video to get through this okay so FLTK is built it says succeeded and nothing failed Skip to probably this is uh, a couple of the OpenGL demos. I don't think I have OpenGL on this machine. So it built FLTK the library and it also built all these little test programs. You should be able to run the test programs just by uh, opening them up. I'm going to go over to hello here. Do we not have a way to run the tool? So here's hello running. In the next segment I'll show how to build a new program from scratch and uh, compile it against this version of FLTK.